Doug, so many guys at both safety and corner. How many do you ideally want to play once the season gets going? Man, that's a good question. Hopefully, you know, at least eight to ten a week. I'm not talking special teams. I'm talking just defense in general. Um, you know, we got a lot of competition at a bunch of positions. So hopefully that competition creates roles for several guys within the room, uh, whether they start, whether they don't start. Um, all the good teams that you see uh, week in and week out, they have competitive depth. And I think that helps you from a big picture perspective for sure. How have you seen that competition shaking out so far? Who's impressed here? Um, you know, I think everybody that we have has had their moments, you know, good, bad, ugly, um, and a lot for us to coach off of. Uh, a lot of growth so far with a bunch of different players within the group, but um, we have a pretty veteran group at the top. So all those guys have been competing at a high level. Um, you know, it's been encouraging uh, for to see a bunch of different guys at different positions, um, and a lot of guys in the room playing multiple positions. So uh, gives us a chance to evaluate them in a lot of different ways, and we have a long way to go. So the competition is still ongoing at a lot of positions. With uh, De Carlos, a guy who's really only been playing corner for three, four years or so. I mean, with his just combination of length. And, and speed. What, what is his upside? Do you feel like, and, and you know, where do you feel like he can kind of get to this year? Yeah, I think his growth has been, you know, as good as anybody, based off of the fact that he has a lot of room for improvement on technique and fundamentals with the lack of experience at the position. Um, and then he's a great, great dude that just, you know, lives and breathes football. Um, on and off the field, so he's a guy that his teammates want to be around, and I think that his growth will continually uh, progress, and he'll have a great role for us this fall. What's Jalen off. Smith's best position in your eyes, and why? Um, I think wherever you put him, you know, he loves to compete, he loves football. Um, he's the one guy in the room that can play all five positions, so gives us a lot of versatility within scheme. Um, gives us a, a different tool. He can blitz. He's played nickel. He started at safety. He had 78 tackles last year, um, so we're, we're toying with him at a bunch of different places. So we'll see where he shakes out. But um, he has all the intangibles, a lot of uh, great skill set, and he's highly competitive, um, and he wants to be great. John Humphrey's fully cleared now. What does he need to do to catch up? Right now, just yeah, he's he's um, you know slowly working himself back in, but you know it's just a progression. You know I don't make any medical decisions or anything like that. So uh, whatever they tell us, he could do on a daily basis. Um, you know we give him as many reps as we can right now, but just looking forward to him um, continue to work himself back in shape. And he's got a lot of experience, got a lot of length, very intelligent. Uh, so not really worried about him working himself back in. More just fundamentals, technique, and and, and learning his role within the scheme on our team, being new. Um, coming in from UCLA. Two and a half weeks out, how comfortable are you with where your guys are? You know, I like the progression. Um, I like where, we, where we're at right now. Um, probably a little bit further ahead than maybe I even thought we could be, but these guys have really done a really good job of kind of creating a culture within the room. Um, you know, great leadership group, some of the older guys in the room, um, like Achille and uh, even Kamari. He's young um, in age, but he's got some experience and he's uh, one of our one of our uh, leaders in the room too. So I think a lot of guys leading, other guys following, um, a lot of competition in that position and guys are challenging, challenging each other, you know, in the meeting room and on the field. So that's what we want. So we just got to continue to build that camaraderie within the room. At boundary and corner, how much further apart are John, Jacoby, and um, like all the other? Yeah, I mean, we, we got, you know, six or seven guys that are repping between the ones and the twos. Um, guys that have been here like Prophet, you know, and Jacoby and um, Jalen's playing multiple DeCarlo. positions. And then DeCarlos and John being the new additions, you know, at that at that spot um, and even Greedy Vance. So um, the competition's high. Uh, we don't really haven't had a set depth chart yet. Um, we just wanted to compete and really focus on their jobs, not so much what we're getting from the offense. Um, you know, Lincoln's putting together obviously awesome game plans and, you know, some of the things that he's done in practice but more focusing on what we need to do to raise our level each and every day to be where we want to be. Um, and we still want them to compete. So, you know, there is no ones and twos. There's A, B, and C. And we mix those up every day and different people at different positions at different times. And a lot of it just to stress them on to see what they know, right, and see where, how, how much we can continue to push them. And some of it is routine plays um, that we expect them to make. So um, with our receiver group and the competition that we've had on a daily basis, I think our level continues to rise. And we got a long way to go before we play one game. But I like, you know, the, the initiative that the players have taken themselves, right, to mold this group to be the best that they could be. How does Zion look coming back? And can you, can you see, like, that he was a former top Highly covered the prospect still after all the injuries. Oh yeah, I'm I'm really excited about him. You know, I think first of all he's always locked in. He's serious about ball. 
um, wants to be great at his craft, and he's come back with a with a great attitude, and um, he's had a great camp so far. So really looking forward to seeing, you know, where he ends up and how he continues to progress. But he's he looks good right now. He's healthy, and um, I enjoy coaching him every day. Coach, yesterday Lincoln Riley talked about uh, just the young, you know, cornerbacks in the room, especially the freshmen like Williams and Conley. What have you seen from them so far in training camp? Yeah, I think you know collectively as a group, you know, we got a little bit bigger sample size um, from Marcellus because he was here in the spring. He had a great spring pick in the spring game, uh, made some plays throughout uh, spring practice and gained a lot of respect to the team. Um, and then you add guys like Braylon Conley um, in that mix. He's done a great job since he's been here. His competitive nature, I think, has really shown up. Um, you know, he's scrappy. He's tough. Um, he competes at a high level. Then you add Isaiah Rubin in that mix as well. Um, and he's done a really good job and has position versi versatility. And from a body st type standpoint, he, you know, he's already pretty developed. So now we just got to clean him up on some technique and fundamentals and, and how to play the game. And I think um, this is going to be a strong class for a long time and they're going to be uh, a good group.